Yeah, it's, it seemed like very brand new. Yes, very, very new. And, you know, on top of that, she's a new character, so. Yeah. So we're going to have two Claren mains. Claren dittos. Plus she's been... Plushy, plushy was his letter main. I don't know where this Claren's coming from. It might be a, a BM pick or a for fun pick. But I did see him pull it out when he came to Boise. How good is he, would you say, when he came to Boise? How good was he? He got third. Um, oh. He lost pretty convincingly to both myself and to Freeze Ray. Freeze Ray, yeah. yeah. Freeze Ray is very dominant, too. Yes, Freeze Ray is very good, but he needs to come to more events and practice. Side of face, Freeze Ray, come to more. And Lotus uh, beating Booster in his first set, too. Uh, Lotus is the crew. This is actually uh, Cheese. Is the guy's name? What do you mean we don't understand, Tycanti? So you're saying he just pulls it out as a BM pick? That's what this Claren is? Maybe it's because Lotus picked Claren? No, that's that's uh, Cheese Man is the person with the Lotus tag. Okay, Cheese Man. Plus, she's the best Claren. Well, when you're the best in the state, you're the best at every character, right? That's how that works. I was told that's how that works. If not, I was lied to. Oof. Oh, okay. It's so the then, what's the story with Plushie's Claren? Because it seems to be going decently well versus Cheese. Was that a taunt? That that was the taunt. This this skin was made for Hyrule Saga. It's a Claren special taunt. So she's got Navi. Navi. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then all, her tippers are the Triforce, and her taunt is the Smash 4 Link taunt. One of them. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it's a pretty cool skin. It's like the uh, fox... Or the shine skin for Zetterburn. Oh, And cool. she's taking that with fairs everywhere. Is there a taunt in this game that can also damage you? Yes. Crag, his taunt, where he crushes a rock and stomps his foot, the foot is a spike hitbox. <laughs> I love it. I'd like to see that. Plushy taking game one. Full of taunts. Yeah. Chad, do these two players have a, a history? To, do they not get along? Because he seems like he's trying to get in his head. That is very much what it seems like. I don't know if, like, Cheese Boy, um, that's his name, right? Cheese Man? Cheese Head? Cheese Head. I'll call him Cheese. Cheese? That works. Um, I don't know if Cheese is, like, um... Like, or does Cheese and Plushie in general have any beef with each other? But also, I don't know if Cheese is actually getting affected by this. Maybe Plushie knows that it can affect his mindset. Maybe so. But Cheese adding a lot of damage. A lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. Cheese, cheese is ahead. And if he can close out the stock... Almost. If he can good close good. out the stock, he'll be on par or on tap for all that extra connection. Here we go. Let's see what he can do with this slack lead. She's having a huge lead now. But he's got oh, this for rivals, this isn't huge. For it's not huge. No. Okay. Well, uh, would you say two stock? Three? Two stock. Two stock is a lead. Okay. One stock is is an advantage. Advantage. Okay. Never take cheese to spirit tree. I take cheese to spirit tree all the time. Okay. So cheese man is his name, and they don't have too much beef. Okay. He just, plus he just does this to get in people's heads. I guess so. Which, I mean, I respect. It works. Yeah, that's the purpose of a time, to get in your player's head. A stock is not a lead. Not in Rivals. But soon he could have a huge lead if he gets the next stock. Oh, almost taking that out. Plushy going for that bait. Getting punished for his... Bad smash attack. Ooh. Yeah, that was a random smash attack. He'd expected Cheese to land. Oh, Cheese. Oh, 
probably gonna take oh it out. Oh my before. goodness! Dang. Facing the wrong direction for that F smash. What do you think of Claren? You played her for a bit. Um, I really like her, and I like how when they have like a lot of stun to the move, it gives you a better chance of like comboing. Yeah, you like the stun mechanic? I like the stun mechanic because she seems slow, and that helps her when it comes to comboing. Mm -hmm. And I like it when the tipper clarifies on like, hey, you got a tipper, so now you have to like clarify on that. But yeah. I don't know, I like that as, as her character design, and I think it's very neat because it's good for spacing, but also I know she can be punished easily. It forces a more patient playstyle. She doesn't have a projectile, and she's slow on the ground, so she can't, you know, run in and run out kind of thing. Right. Like you see with a lot of faster characters. Sometimes she can dash dance, I guess in a way to bait. Right, but her, she's overall is a, has a more patient kid. Right. There we go, she's taking that with a two stock advantage. Oh, he's going back to... He goes Sylvanos. What? Yep. Busting out the, the new wolf character. Also, commentary is DRB and DGL. DGL, a Falcon player from Idaho. Yeah. I apologize for my lack of knowledge in the game, so. You gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Ooh. So, what? this is my first time seeing this character. This is Dan's idea of a grounded zoning character. Grounded? Yes. Are you familiar with PM Ivysaur at all? Yes. So you'll notice a lot of similar looking moves, a lot of similar normals. The recovery is very different though. Okay. That's w that was my first uh, thought when I saw the trailer for this character. I'm like, so it's Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. Very similar. Very but the, the passive of this character is you see the grass. Oh. So, mm -hmm. Sylvanas can use the grass to turn into thorns and do an area of effect attack, or Sylvanas' so F-Tilt, if done on the grass, will send out a projectile. Okay, so the grass is, like, the very, like, useful. It's, like, the main thing of this kit. Yep, that's the main zoning tool. Okay, interesting. Yep. I'm what? assuming he would need, like, a uh, just no platform area, though? Well, so you see that flower? Yeah. So that flower enables Sylvanas to always have grass wherever that flower is planted. So since the flower is on the top platform... There will always be grass there until Cheese breaks that flower. Oh, I like that. That's and very creative. So you can see when Sylvanas walks, he spawns grass as well. But now that the flower is gone, there's no grass on that top platform. Interesting. It's an interesting mechanic for a character like this. And he can just plant it by just, like, spouting out of his back. Yep, so his neutral special, I believe, and his jab three can be that seed. Ah, oh, there it is. Yep. And both players pretty neck and neck right now. See how he burrows out of the ground? Okay, so it's like a way where... Or... Orculus, is that... Or Kane? Or Kane, yeah. It's like the kind of thing where he places the water and he can teleport to the, the wall. Kind of. So Sylvanos can up special into the wall and then pops out up top. Huh. Seems a very, like... Hard to edge guard move. It can be quite difficult to edge guard this character. I'm assuming so like you, you see, have to you see him stalling over here, and then he pops up. Oh, okay. Yep, and we'll see if oh, oh. that's rough. Darn. I'm assuming like it also takes a lot of time for him to recover. No, he can recover quite quickly, but he can choose to not recover quickly. She's going for these double grabs. Very cheesy. Oh man. Almost getting a combo into an edge guard off stage, but he gets a random void smash. I feel like he just walked into that. And she's doing a good job keeping this lead. Oh, hey, I think it's about to end it too. Oh. Little Biggs, he switched to Sylvanos because he's been working on Sylvanos. He's uh, trying to switch that to his main character. And how new is Sylvanas? Sylvanas has been out for a week and a half. Both he and Eliana have been- ooh. Both oh, characters have been out for a week and a half, yep. <gasps> oh quite, my gosh, I thought that was gonna take it. Ooh, Thunder that catch? up smash. Hey. Gets that up smash tipper to take the last stock. Congrats to Cheese Man.